A lot of light. There's a lot of light. I better look light skin after this, yeah. Uh, my name is Michelle Magnong Victor Lubuya, and I am a contracted BDM. So I own a, prom a promotional company called Le Tout Valet. It's French for the happiness of meeting again. So it's a, it was more event based at the start because I started off as a nightclub promoter. And um, as that progressed, I started to figure out that I like more about the promotion side. I like more of the digital marketing and the direct marketing. So let's try to evolve this concept and do that. And then throughout the last two years I've been running the business, it's more starting to mold more into uh, business development sort of, thing, sort of business. So any client would come up to me and be like, hey, I need somebody to talk to with regards to finance. I'm like, I got the perfect guy. Let me put you two together. Let's talk about uh, marketing. I can speak to them directly and be like, hey, this is the sort of thing you need to do. This is the right person for that. So it's more of a more of a middleman business where as we help people grow their businesses in general. So family life is it's great. It's amazing, actually. Uh, it's a it's a family full of characters. I'm almost like, excuse the pun, the black sheep of the family. Whereas that everybody is a doctor, or a nurse, or a health scientist, and um, my mom and myself are just the she's an accountant. I'm just the business savvy guy and whatnot. So I'm a Congolese South African that spent a bit of time in Canada. So my parents' heritage is from Congo DRC. They moved over to South Africa because my dad is a practicing uh, doctor. And then my two sisters were born, and I was born after, and then we moved over to Canada for a while. I went back, finished my high school in South Africa, and now I'm here. So that's where I'm from. <laughs> huge, huge impact on me, especially my father always stating that you always have a choice to do whatever you want, but you have to be the best at what you do. That's why I always, that thought always resonated with me, and that I took that forward with anything that I did. So yeah, my father is probably the biggest influence in regards to my family. My mom, I'm a mommy's boy, because I'm her only son, so I like, I'm gonna hide that from everybody, but I'm a mommy's boy, so. <laughs> helping, 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 because my main focus and that I'm helping with people is mostly, I mostly deal with small businesses. A guy would come up to me and be like, hey, I'm looking to start this business. I know you've got this pedigree with you. How can I move about this? First, you ask them, what are you looking to create? What sort of imprint are you trying to make? And how is it gonna benefit the people? So. The main driving force is being able to create something different and just building the community up. Because Brisbane, it's got so much potential, but nobody's actually pushing it. So I want to be one of the factors that are actually pushing this change that we have in here and actually making it probably the, the best city in, in Australia. Even though I haven't been to the others, I've heard so much that I, that I reckon that this is probably the future of Australia. So People smile. <laughs> people smile. People smile. In terms of South Africa, People are generally very friendly, but if you say hi to somebody, they're gonna be like, okay, what do you want from me type of thing, but he'll, he'll greet back. As soon as a Brisbane, you say hi to somebody, they are very happy to talk to you, whether it's to the businessman on the side or somebody just walking to uni and all that, so. What I love about Brisbane, it might be cliche and all that, I love the people. I love the people, they're so diverse in everything. You'll have a guy that's a, that's a law student that's working for his father's firm at the same time, but he'd street, still teach you the same as a person that's just um, buying the, sorry, being a client to them and all that. And everybody's just, it's such a nice relationship. Like people are really nice here. Like you, you don't understand. So I like, I like the people a lot. Live your truth. Because if you're not real with yourself, then you going out in the public is, is, is nothing really. You're not, you're, you're a hollow. You're a, piece, you're a hollow person, you got nothing. You got nothing you can give back to people if you're lying all the time about who you are, what you do. And real recognizes real all the time, you know? So that's my, that's my quote, is living the truth. The, the first drawback I would say would have to be almost knowing that there's nobody else with you, it's just you yourself. And you gotta move forward regardless or else you just get it. what you, the decision you made was, was gonna be a waste at the end of the day. So it's just motivating yourself to try, create, to try better your business on a daily basis. So that's the, the hardest thing. But once you get that machine going, it's uh, the sky's the limit after that.